Coach Ball at their 17. Back to throw. United sets up. He is firing deep. Downfield is hidden. It is knocked away. Intercepted by Dick Anderson. The 40, 45, 50. Down to the 40-yard line. Cuts back to the near side. The 35 gets a block. 30, the 25, the 20, the 15, the 10. He's out of the 5. He scores! It's been three years since Don Shula left Baltimore to lead Miami into battle, and in those three years, much has changed. The once woeful Dolphins are now football's finest. The once proud Colts are now struggling for respectability. Rick Weaver, Luke Rickmer, and Henry Barrow back at uh, Memorial Stadium in Baltimore. The Jets won today, so the Dolphins need, uh, need, need uh, this one to stay two games in front of uh, Joe Namath's crew. After the Colts took the open kickoff, they could not score as O'Brien missed the 42-yard field goal. They come out of the huddle with the two tight ends remaining. Warfield lines up as the wingman right. Morris and Zonka in behind Morrow. On a first and goal from the one. The handoff goes to Larry. He sweeps to the left. He's in for the score. Morrow will hold. Yapremian will try the point from placement snap. Kick is up. And it's good. The Dolphins drove it 80 yards in 10 plays. Zonka scoring from a short distance out. Dolphin football action continues from Memorial Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland, with a score, our Dolphin 7 and the Colts nothing. Yandel starts up the 5, the 10. He is hit and tripped up at the 15-yard line. A fine effort on the Dolphin specialty squad by Jim Mandich, who was downfield and really upended him with an ankle tackle. They put it down at the 17-yard line. This is a proud Baltimore team. Bubba Smith injured early. They've had a lot of injuries. They change coaches. They have benched United. Trying to go for the youth movement. Joe Thomas looking ahead to years to come. But this team retains its pride. Dahmer's hands McCauley. Sweep to the right side. Gets the corner turn. And that's about all as he's knocked out at the 19-yard line. Vern Denherter, the big number uh, 83, second-year defensive left end, 6'6", 250, from Little Central of Iowa. Wrap those big arms around him and wrestle him to the ground at the 19. Again, two, it'll be second down at eight. Three minutes, 18 seconds to go in the first period. Domers, the quarterback, splits off Haverlack and uh, O'Brien to the near side. Here is the handoff going oh, across left tackle on the slant is McCauley. On the delay, and he gets out across the 20 to about the 22-yard line before he's tripped up by Doug Swift from his linebacker spot. And they will mark the ball at the 22-yard line. Bob Hines also went on the tackle for Miami. For those of you who may not be familiar with Bob Hines from his uh, tremendous play as a defensive end and a tackle last year, he's starting in place of Jim Dunaway, who was moved to the Cavs squad today. Dunaway has a back problem. They want to give him more time to rest. Hines is four-year man from Pacific. He's 6'6", 270. Uh, third down and four from the Colts 22. Dahmer stops straight back to throw. He swings one and slant in to Nottingham, and he catches the ball, and he's down at the 25, which is not enough for a first down. Doug Swift knocked him down. A slant in to Nottingham out of the backfield, and he did not make the yardage they needed, and so the punting unit comes on. David Lee will handle the punting charge. He has an average of 43 and four-tenths yards per kick. Waiting for the snap. Here it is. Dolphins uh, get a pretty good rush. He wobbles one out of there. Against the wind, Charlie Lee grabs it back to the Dolphin 39 and is knocked out of bounds on the far side of the field at the 41-yard line. A two-yard return, a 37-yard kick by David Lee. Dolphin football action continues from Baltimore with the score. Our Dolphins 7 and the Colts nothing. That is uh, That brings up the first Miami third down situation in this ball game with 40 seconds to go. Here in the first quarter, Warfield puts to the far side, fully to the near side. Kick and Zonka, the split back behind Morrow. Third and fourth, the Dolphins from our 47. Morrow drops to throw, now sprints to his right. He fires for the near side and kicks but not get to it. He stumbled at about the 50-yard line, and uh, Morrow had a pretty good rush that time, so that brings up a fourth down as the pass is incomplete. That is the end of the first quarter. Dolphin football action continues from Memorial Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland, with a score, our Dolphins 7 and the Colts nothing. As we start the second quarter, the Colts have the ball at their 25. It'll be a second down and 10. Domeris, the quarterback. Bulash is at one of the running back spots, along with McCauley. And the tight end, Tom Mitchell, O'Brien, and Haverlack will be the wide receivers. Haverlack splits to the far side. O'Brien to the near side. McCauley and Bulash are split back behind Domeris. 
Fakes the handoff. Fakes the pass. Swing pass to the right side. Sprints back to his right. Now swings the screen out. The blue ice at the 25. Bounces off a tackler at the 26 and gets up to the 30-yard line. Norm Bulash, tackled by Vern Denherter, and they put the ball down at the, just across the 30, we'll call it the 31, it'll be third down and four, coast ball. Back to throw, goes down, with split, here's the pass, caught by Mitchell across the 40, and he's knocked down at the post 44, they've got the first down. Dolphins had a blitz on that time, but Thomas lost the ball, and Tom Mitchell, the big tight end, made his second reception of the afternoon, before he was tackled by Dick Anderson up the coach 44-yard line, and a first down. 13 yards on the completion from Domrus to Mitchell, and the Colts have a first down at their 44-yard line. And the 15-yard penalty as the Dolphins elect to take it, puts the ball back at the Baltimore 29-yard line, def- offensive holding against the Colts. So that'll bring up a first down and 25. It'll be a third down and 25. Colts ball back at their 29. Domrus unofficially four for seven for 32 yards. All right, uh, Haverlack splits to the far side. O'Brien, Swatman left. Bulash and McCauley split backs. Back to throw goes Domrus. Now he's going to spread out to his left. Is he going to throw a run? He's going to run with the ball. Gets the 30, 35, up to the 40, and is knocked down at the 41-yard line. He did not make enough yardage. About three yards shy of a first down, so the punting unit will come in. Bill Stanfield is the man who got him. With 12.44 left to go in the first half. Dolphins lead 7-0. Waiting for the snap. Here it is. He gets the kick away, and boom, the beauty. A long, high spiral. Back at the 12-yard line, Charlie Lee cuts for the right side, gets the block, 20, up to the 25, and is smothered across the 25 at the 28-yard line. Charlie, and a good block over there, allowing him to turn the corner, a 46-yard kick and a 14-yard return. There's a timeout on the field, Dolphin football action continues from uh, Baltimore with a score of the Dolphins 7, the Colts nothing. The Dolphins will start from their 28-yard line. Morris on the first play from scrimmage took the handoff for Morrow over the left side and gets out across the 35 out to the Dolphins 39 yard line. The Dolphins have a first down as Morris carries up to the Miami 39. Twilly splits off the far side in the eye. Zonka and Mercury Morris behind Morrow. We're in the second quarter. Dolphins lead 7 0. Here's the handoff trap to Zonka. He hits the middle and booms his way across the 45, gets out to the 46 yard line. Twilly splits off the far side. Warfield sets in tight from the near side now and Morris sets as a wing back to the near side of the field. Morrow drops straight back to throw. He steps up. He is going to have to eat the football. He's caught and dropped back at the 40 to 39 yard line. In Dolphins territory, Jim Feely, the right tackle, and Billy Newsom, the left end, are the fellows who combined to knock him down. He got away from one of them, but uh, he's thrown for a loss back at the 39, and that's the first quarterback sack of the afternoon. So uh, that brings up a third down and still about 10 yards to go for a first down. Donka is out of the ball game. Kick and Morris are the running backs now for the Dolphins on third and ten from our 39-yard line. Fully switched to the near side. And Warfield is flat man left. A big third down situation here for Earl. He drops straight back to throw. He sets. He lost the pass to Morris at the 35, to the 40, and falls down at the 45-yard line. And the Stiple will kick against the wind. With the wind to his back a while ago, he just got off a 28-yard front. Larry standing at the 30. Line of scrimmage, the Dolphins 45. Here is the snap. He has plenty of time and gets a nice high spiral. Fair catch. Signal made by Laird. He catches the ball back at the Colts' 22-yard line. So that's where they'll start from. A 33-yard punt against the wind. It's getting very dark way up to the north. We get a timeout on the field. Dolphin football action continues from Baltimore with a score. A Dolphin 7, the Colts nothing. Third and four. Colts from their 39. Big handoff. Sprint to the left. Here's uh, Domus being pursued by Stanfield. Now he's way back on the 20, coming laterally back to the near side. He is thrown for a loss back at the 25-yard line by Vern Denherter. As they really pursued that time, Stanfield ran him all the way back to the 20. He was cutting back for the near side, running laterally, and gets back up to the 26-yard line is where they put it down before Denherter brought him down for a big loss, and that brings in the punting unit on fourth down. And really a strange twist back there, Rick. Uh, Stanfield chasing chasing Dahmer's back there, knocked Fernandez down, and both of them went down, couldn't get to him. That's Charlie, for Denerter. Charlie Lee is deep, Anderson is the shallow man, Lee will punt, he'll stand at the 10. The line of scrimmage, the Baltimore 26, he has the wind to his back. Here's a snap, gets a rush, it's blocked by Curtis Johnson. Ball is loose, grabbed by Larry Ball, the linebacker for the Dolphins out of bounds on the far side at about the 23-yard line. Curtis Johnson is the man who blocked that punt. As they put on a good rush, Johnson, as you recall, blocked one last week. The Dolphins have excellent field position at the Colts' 22-yard line. 
Kick and Zonka, the split back. Warfield to the near side, 20 to the far side. Morrill hands the kick into the middle. He goes, and inside the 20 to the 19-yard line. A three-yard gain. Defensive uh, middle linebacker Mike Curtis makes the tackle on the play. Eight minutes, 14 seconds left to go in the first half. Dolphins lead 7-0. It'll be a second down and seven. Dolphins football at the Colts' 19-yard line as they move from our right to our left to the north end of the field. Here is Morris. Or Morrill handing the kick, sweep to the left side, gets the corner turn, 15-10, out of bounds. At the 7-yard line goes Jim Kick, first down, Jim Bailey. Defensive tackle ran him out. But there is a flag on the play, back at about the 21-yard line. And we are going to get a personal foul clipping call against Miami. So the Dolphins will not only lose the first down, excellent yardage at the 7-yard line as a result of Kick's run, but they are assessed a 15-yard penalty. And the penalty puts the ball back at the Colts' 34-yard line. The Dolphins have a second and 22 at the Colts' 34. They must get to the 12 for a first down. Warfield and Briscoe are double wide receivers to the far side. Kick and Zonka, the split backs behind Morrill. Morrill sprinting back out to the right side. Is he going to run a throw? He swings a little past the kick across the 30, and he is down on the far side of the field at about the 27-yard line. A third down and 15. The ball is at the Colts' 27-yard line from the uh, Colts' 27. A fake handoff. He swings a pass to Briscoe. Here's a flea flicker. He's throwing in the end zone. Warfield has got it. He is out of bounds at the one-foot line. Jerry Logan is the fellow who prevented the touchdown. The flea flicker, which uh, Don Shula perfected as the coach of the Colts, with uh, the pitch going to Briscoe, and he threw the pass to Warfield. And the Dolphins have a first and goal just inside the Colts' one-yard line, 26 yards. Henry? And Mike Curtis stood in the middle of the field with his hands on his knees and just shaking his head. He couldn't believe it. Briscoe is two for two on the season now as a passer. So the old flea flicker gives the Dolphins a first and goal at the Colts' one-yard line. The two tight ends are in now in the power blocking unit. Hand off to kick through the right side. No official signal yet. He appears to be stacked up short of the goal line. Fred Miller... Ted Hendricks in on the tackle. He did not make it. He did not make it. Ray May comes into the ball game on the Colts goal line defense. The ball is at about the half-yard half line. It'll be a second down and goal from the half-yard line. Six minutes, 25 seconds to go in the half. Dolphins lead 7-0. Off Curtis Johnson's block punt here. And the flea flicker with Briscoe hitting uh, Warfield at the one-yard line. The Dolphins are knocking on the door again. Kick and zunk him. The split back behind Morrill. Second and goal from the half-yard line. The handoff goes to Zonka. Through the left side. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphin. Larry Zonka. Slanted over left tackle and picks up his second touchdown of the ball game. As the Dolphins now move out to a 13-0 lead with six minutes and seven seconds left to play in this first half. That drive of some 22 yards, and you uh, they also were assessed a penalty of 15 yards on... Uh, that particular penalty situation, the big play was the flea flicker, Briscoe hitting Warfield. 22-yard drive in five plays. Euphemian tries the point from place, but Morrill holds, waiting for the snap. Here it is, set down, the kick is blocked. And it's no good. Garrow misses an extra point attempt for the second time this year. Dolphin football action continues from Baltimore, Maryland, with a score. Our Dolphins 13, and the Colts nothing. Haverlack splits to the far side, O'Brien to the near side. A second and six, Colts from their 28-yard line. On the snap, Thomas makes the handoff, drops the throw, being rushed, he fires the middle. It is caught by O'Brien at the Colts 48, and he's knocked out at the 49. Jim O'Brien, a wide receiver, picks up a first down on a 21-yard pass completion. Third down and six for the Colts, the ball at the Dolphins 46-yard line. O'Brien splits to the near side, Haverlack flat right. Thomas. Up under center, Box those signals. Big play here to keep this drive alive. He goes back to throw, gets a rush. Now looking around, he fires the ball, wobbled past, and Nottingham can't get it incomplete. He was decked as he got the ball away. Stanfield and Bob Matheson put the pressure on, and that pass just wobbled loose in the air. Had there been a defender near it, why, perhaps an interception. But that brings up a fourth down. And into the ball game comes the new place kicker they just activated today, the youngster from Michigan State, Corey Schlepak. He is supposed to be a long-distance field goal specialist. This will be a 54-yard attempt, as Volk will hold. And Mercury Morris is back. Charlie Lee, Rick. Charlie Lee back as a deep man. Here's the kick. It's blocked. It's loose at the 50-yard line. Dolphins grabbing for it. Lloyd Mumford picks it up. Running laterally back to the far side. Gets the block. Back of the Dolphins, 40. Still going. Shakes the tackler. 45 back to the 50-yard line. 
Mercury, uh, Charlie Lee was the deep man back, and that kick was blocked by Curtis Johnson, I believe. What a game he's played. He's blocked the punt and a 54-yard uh, field goal attempt. Lloyd Mumford picked up the loose ball here at the near side of the field and got a couple of blocks running laterally back to the far side and gets it back out to the midfield strike. So Schleifek in his National Football League debut never got the ball a yard off the ground. Rick Weaver, Luke Rickmer, and Henry Barrow back uh, at Baltimore Memorial Stadium. Two minutes to play in the half. Dolphins lead 13-0. A third and fourth. The Colts 43. Warfield splits near side, fully far side. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance kid, the split backs behind. Morrow, Earl drops the throw. He sets. He fires. A little hitch pass to kick at the 40. He's down inside the 40 to the 39. That's good for a first down. He's dropped by linebacker Ray May and cornerback Nelson Muncy. So that brings up a third down and seven situation. Ball the Dolphins, the ball at the Colts 36-yard line. The incompletion stops the clock with a minute and 18 seconds to go. Earl drops the throw. He swings it past the middle. Kicks got it. 35, 30, puts his head down, and it's going to be smacked at the 28-yard line. That should be good enough for a first down. And the ball is back at the Colts 33 now with a first and 15 for the Dolphins. Billy, wide receiver, split right. In the eye, Morris and Zonka behind Morrow. In the 33, hands off. Morris, sweep to the right, gets the corner turn. Inside the 25, cuts back to his left. Down to the 20, inside the 20 to the 16-yard line. Goes Mercury Morris. Pass is incomplete. Stops the clock with 27 seconds left to go in the half. It'll be a third and 10. All the Dolphins, the ball at the Colts 16-yard line. On third down and 10 from the 16. Back to throw goes Morrow. Swings the pass out to Morris. Got it to the 20. He's being converged upon and is stripped up. Actually for a loss at the 17-yard line by the middle linebacker Mike Curtis. So Yepremian comes in with just 18 seconds left to go in the half. Garrow 9 for 15 in the field goal department. And he's kicking toward the north end where the wind is rather strong and where O'Brien missed one of 42 yards earlier. Waiting for the snap. Here it is. Set down. He's got the kick up. He's got the distance. Perfect. Garrow Yepremian, a 25-yard field goal with 16 seconds left to play. In this first half, and so the Miami lead now is extended to 16 to nothing. As your premium boots one in from 25 yards out. And that's the end of the first half as the fans here give the coach the Baltimore Raspberry. The score at halftime, Miami 16, Baltimore nothing. Dolphins with a 16 nothing lead. Morris down the near side and Lee off to the far side. Awaiting the uh, kickoff to start the second half. Schleifek forward, gets his toe into it. He gets it high and boom, the beauty. Way out of the end zone. Listen to the crowd. That's all they've had to care about. They really go wild on a kickoff. <laughs> and so, the Dolphins will start from our 20-yard line. Warfield, fully the wide receivers. Earl Morrill, who has done a magnificent job so far against his old teammates. He said he couldn't throw, but he showed him. Morris and Zonka are the eye formation back. Now Morris sets as a wingman to the near side. First down, Dolphins from our 20-yard line. Morrill up under center on this signal, pitches back to Zonka, sweep to the right, cuts back to his left, up across the 25, and drags Sackers with him. He's knocked down at about the 26 or the 27-yard line. Mike Curtis, the middle linebacker, in on the stop. The gain of Seven on that last play. Second down and three. Warfield splits near side, fully to the far side. Morris and Zonka. Eye backs and behind Morrill. The handoff. Mercury through the middle. Big hole across the 30 and across the 35. And he's tripped up at the 38-yard line. A first down for Miami. The ball at the 42 in Dolphins territory. It'll be a third down and about five. Third and uh, seven. Let's make it for the Dolphins from their 42-yard line. Here's a counter play. Handoff to Morris. And they were waiting for it. Moving from his left to his right. And he was... Knocked down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Bailey and Curtis. Seipel will punt, and he will stand back at the 27. The line of scrimmage, the Dolphins 42. He's kicking against the wind, which is still as strong as it was earlier. Laird is deep, number 40, and uh, Rick Volk, number 21, is the shallow man. Here is the snap. Does not get a rush. He booms a beauty out of there. Nice high spiral. Hangs it up. It is grabbed. Boom, boom! Dolphins have got it. Gilbert again, and he goes in, but they are going to blow the play dead back at the 20-yard line. Hubert again picked the ball up. Laird fumbled it. He, I was rather amazed that he didn't single for a fair catch because that ball was hanging up there against the wind. The Dolphin coverage was down on him. And the Dolphins get credit for a recovered fumble. Hubert Ginn is the man who picked it up and ran it in, but the officials had blown the play dead. A 40-yard punt against the wind and a great effort by Larry Seipel. So the Dolphins come up with a great uh, break again. And there's what your specialty tuned teams do for you. The ball at the Colts' 20-yard line. It looked as if Laird lost that ball up here in the light. 
Uh, actually, it hit him just about on the shoulder pads. He didn't have his hands up at all. All right, Twilly splits to the far side. Warfield near side. Dolphin first out of the Colts 20. Morris and Zonka the backs. Here's the handoff to Larry. Sweep right, cuts to his left. Dragging tacklers with him inside the 15, down to about the 12. Goes Larry Zonka, who may be approaching another 100-yard game. 11:41 left to go in the third quarter. Dolphins lead 16 to nothing. Colts. Mistakes, good Dolphin defense, capitalizing on great offensive play. The Dolphins lead 16-0. Here's Morrill, hands to Morris, sweep to the left. He's got Little in front, and he cannot get the corner turn. He's thrown for a loss. Back at the 15, a great play by the middle linebacker, the veteran Mike Curtis. A loss of two. It'll be a third and five for the Dolphins at the coach 15. Back to throw goes Earl, straight back. Now he sprints out to his right. Going to run with the ball. He gets across the 15 to the 10, and it's not out of bounds on the far side at the nine-yard line. And he may have the first down. Earl Morrow with heads up football showing that old bones can still leg it. A tackle by Jim Bailey. And the key call here is where was he tackled? Where did he go out of bounds? And the position of the football. First down, first down for the Dolphins. Morrow picking up uh, about five yards as the ball will be put down. They haven't placed it down yet. Now they do. Just inside the 10. So from our vantage point, it would appear impossible for the Dolphins to get another, another first down. 10 minutes, 39 seconds to go in the third quarter. Dolphins lead 16-0. Knocking on the door again. Warfield splits left, fully to the far side. From the 10, the handoff to Mercury. Through the middle, he bursts and down to about the 6-yard line. Just straight wedge blocking up in front. Roy Hilton, the big 8-year man from Jackson State, defensive right end. Makes the tackle for the Colts. And they're going to mark it at about the 7. So we'll give them a three-yard pickup. It'll be second and goal for the Dolphins from the Colts' seven-yard line. A second down and goal situation. The two tight ends are in. Morris and Zonka, the eye backs, in behind Morrill from the Colts' seven. Here's the pitch to Mercury. Sweep to the left, down to the five. He's in for the touchdown. Mercury Morris around the left side. He was hit a couple of times, but just broke the tackle. And Rick, there's some white handkerchiefs across the way being waved. Now this Dolphin running game with Zonka kicking Morris is absolutely awesome. With uh, 9.52 to play in the third quarter, that drive 20 yards, five plays, was set up by the uh, fumbled punt by Bruce Laird, recovered by Hubert Ginn. Dolphin football action continues from Baltimore, Maryland with a score. Our Dolphins 23 and the Colts nothing. It'll be uh, third down and one. For the Colts, the ball up there, 46. Hines comes in and Matheson goes out. For the Dolphins on defense. Third and one, Colts from there, 46. Two tight ends in. Damaris up under center, barks the signals. Sprints out to his right. He's going to run with the ball. He has got the first down. Gets to the 50, shakes the tackle. In the Dolphins territory and gets to the Dolphin 45-yard line before he is knocked down. Marty Damaris running for the first down. Jake Scott and Dick Anderson, the two safeties, made the stop on the play. Glenn Ressler, the left guard, threw a good block to spring him. Six minutes, 56 seconds to play in the third quarter. Dolphins working for their seventh straight victory, 23-0. Don Shula. Here in 1968, ran up 13 straight before his ball club, as he was coach of the Colts in those years, lost to the Rams. The penalty puts the ball back at the Baltimore 42-yard line. Instead of the four-yard gain, they lose a total of 19, and it'll be first and 25 for the Colts from their 42. From the Colts 42, Dahmer straight back to throw. He's being rushed, sets up, fires, and a flag is down. Mike Cohen almost had an interception. And we're going to get past the first call against the Dolphins. And that, is, of course, is a first down for the Colts. So they have uh, about their best field position, except when they tried that missed field goal in the first quarter of the game. First down at the Dolphins, 41. That brings up a third and 12 for the Colts at the Dolphins, 43. Here comes Lloyd Mumford in, the fifth defensive back, and Bonacani goes out on a big third down and 12. And the Dolphins, 43. Domers drops straight back to throw. Has time. Now he's going to run, and he's got no place. He loses yardage. A loss of four, and David Lee comes in to punt on fourth down as the fans again set up a boo howl on the lack of offense displayed by Domerus. Charlie Lee is the deep man to field his punt, standing back at the 39, as Lee had one blocked earlier by Curtis Johnson. He gets this one out of there and hangs it up. High spiral, Charlie Lee fair catches the ball for the Dolphins at the Miami 11-yard line. A 32-yard punt that time. Charlie Lee made the fair catch, so the Dolphins will start from our 11. And there is a timeout on the field. Dolphin football action continues from Baltimore with a score. Our Dolphins 23 and the Colts nothing. 
Rick Weaver, Luke Prickmer, and Henry Barrow back at Baltimore, Maryland. We're in the third quarter, 5.43 to go. The Dolphins time back in, have the ball at our 11-yard line, moving from our right to our left to the north end zone. Moral, the quarterback, has uh, kick and zonk as the eye formation back behind him. Here's the handoff to Larry. Over the right side, finds a hole. 15 of the 20, drags the tackler with him up across the 20 to about the 23-yard line. Zonka rambles for 12 yards, a tackle by linebacker Ray May. Fully splits right, Warfield on the near side. Zonka, 12 carries unofficially for 70 yards. Morrow, long count at the line of scrimmage. Here's the handoff. And booming through the middle goes kick across the 30-yard line. And that is going to be close to uh, another first down, out to about the 33. First down for the Dolphins at our 34-yard line. Fully. Puts far side, Warfield to the near side. Zonka, slot man right. On the snap, here's the handoff to kick. Sweep to the right. Cuts back to his left and gets out to about the 39, maybe the 40, before he is upended by middle linebacker Mike Curtis. A slot man right is Jim Kick. The ball up the Dolphins' 40-yard line. Here's the handoff. Zonka behind middle. Sweep right. Cuts back to his left. He's got the first down, I believe. Up to about the 44-yard line. If he doesn't have, it's going to be very, very close. The Dolphins did not uh, get enough yardage for a first down. Missed it by a foot. So they've got the two tight ends in for the power blocking. The ball at the Dolphins 44 as Morrill has gone into the ball control. Two minutes and 40 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Kick and Zonka, the split backs. Then behind Morrill. Waiting for the snap from center. Here's the handoff to kick. Tries to sweep right. Cuts left. First down. He'll cross the 45 and out to about the 49-yard line. Runs Jim Kick. 37 seconds to play in his third quarter. Dolphins lead 23-0. Third and two from the Colts' 42-yard line. Morrill, who has been masterful, brings his ball club up. Kick and Zonka in an eye. Here's the pitch to Kick. Sweep to the right. Does he get the corner turn? No, he does not. He has stopped for a loss. At the 44-yard line, Larry Seiple's punting unit comes on. All right, Laird is back deep, and Seiple... Gets a high snap, he pulls the ball down, and booms a nice high punt out of there. Hangs it up there for a good five or six seconds. Bounces down to the 12, takes a cold bounce, and is down at the 17-yard line by Bob Hines. As the gun sounds, ending the third quarter. That's the end of the third period. Dolphin football action will continue from Memorial Stadium in Baltimore with a score. Our Dolphins 23 and the Colts nothing. All right, Dahmer sets his backs in an eye. Two wide receivers put to the near side. Colts ball from their 17. He fakes the handoff, swings the pass to the near sideline. Haberlack got it and out of bounds at the 27. And that will be close to a Colts first down. They did not make the first down, and, uh, about a yard shy. Second down and one. The ball is right at the 27-yard line. It'll be third down and about a foot. Third down, less than a yard. Colts ball at their 27. They're having trouble getting a first down. Here is the handoff. Going to Bulash. He hurdles the middle of the line, and he's got the first down out to about the 30-yard line. 14.05 left to play. Haberlack and O'Brien split off the far side. Here is Domeris dropping the throw. Swings a pass. It is caught by Bulash to the far side. He's across the 30 up to the 35 to the 36 before he's smothered by Den Herter and Bonacati. Second and three. Coach ball at their 37-yard line. Domeris brings his ball club out. Haberlack splits left. O'Brien slot man left. Here's the handoff to McCauley, through a big hole in the middle, across the 40, 45, out of the 48-yard line, and that's the first down. Squirts down McCauley. Jake Scott, the Dolphins, with safety, is the man who brought him down. First down, Baltimore at their 48. The ball at the Colts, 48-yard line. Here is Domeris, slips and falls down, and he's fallen upon by the Dolphin pass rush. He tripped up and tripped over his own feet, it would appear from here. Manny Fernandez was the first man to fall on him back at the Colts, 41-yard line. A loss of seven. He was dropping straight back to throw and just tripped up. So it's a loss of seven. It'll be second down and 17. 12.40 left to play. Coast ball at their 41. Second down and 17. On the snap, Domeris drops straight back to throw again. Has time. Now he has to swing a pass out to McCauley. Back to 35. Looks for a hole. A lose the tackler to the 40 and is knocked down right at the line of scrimmage at the 41. All that running around over there to trying to find uh, daylight. And he gets back to the line of scrimmage on a screen pass. Nick Bonacani. The Dolphins middle linebacker, who is about as good as diagnosing screens as anybody in this league, made the tackle. It was a screen pass, no question about it, Rick. And Manny Fernandez is the guy that messed it all up. He wouldn't let him get down the field. He just kept pressing him into the in towards the inside. Third and 17. Coach ball at their 41. With 11.45 to go, Miami leads 23-0. The backs are split behind Domeris. He drops the throw. He sets. He swings the pass out to Nottingham. He is really cracked. 
Holy Toledo, Captain Punch. Mike Cullen really leveled him out, and he caught the ball, and he was a sitting duck out there, and there's no gain, maybe a gain of a yard on the play as they put it down at the 42. So that brings up the fourth down, and the uh, fans set up a howl again at their dissatisfaction with the lack of offense under Domers' direction. And Lee will kick five yards further back, stands at the 22. Charlie Lee, deep man for the Dolphins, and Dick Anderson, the shallow man. With 11.09 left to go in this ball game. Here's the snap. David Lee drills a spiral upfield. Charlie Lee at the 22. Far side, 25. Flag down. He is going to be knocked out of bounds at the 30-yard line. A flag down back to the 25. Tackled by Jack Mildred of the specialty teams for the Colts. A 41-yard punt, a 9-yard return, but there is a flag down. Finley puts the ball back down at the uh, Dolphins 12, and he'll start from there. First and 10 from the 12-yard line. 10.57 to go. Dolphins lead by a score of 23-0. Warfield splits left fully to the near side. Kick. And Zonka, the split backs in behind Morrill. Here's the handoff to Larry. Puts his head down. Rams over the right side. Drags the tackler with him out to the 20-yard line. Warfield splits left. Fully to the near side. Zonka, slot man left. Kick is the only back behind Morrill. Here's the handoff. Delay. Kick through a hole in the middle. And he's got the first down. Out to about the 24. Maybe to the 25. Ten minutes. Left to play. <laughs> Dolphins. He's playing keep away now, trying to get something generated with ball control. The ball at the 30-yard line in Dolphin territory. 8.29 to go. Third down and four. Warfield split far side, fully near side. Kick and Zonka split behind Morrill. Here's a handoff to kick sweep to the right. Turns the corner. He's got the first down at the 35. And across the 35 goes Jim Kick, Ted Hendricks. Left side linebacker for Baltimore made the stop. Seven minutes, 51 seconds left to play. Morrill showing up time. The Dolphins leading 23-0. We'll call it third and two as they put it right down at the 42-yard line. 6.32 left to go. Dolphins lead 23 zip. Twilly splits near side. Warfield at the far side. Frisco was in for a couple plays and actually threw a flea flicker pass. Complete the Warfield. Key to touchdown. Here's the end around reverse with Warfield carrying to the near side. 40, 45, 50, 45 to the 40. Cuts to his left and is down at the Baltimore 38-yard line. The flanker back around. The end around play with Warfield carrying for 21 yards up until... That play, Paul had uh, Paul had uh, tried it twice this year for just a total of 12 yards. But that time, he picks up a first down and 21 yards. Warfield, the end around, the flanker around, and he goes out for a rest. As the Dolphins pick up a first down at the Baltimore 38-yard line. They mark the ball at the 36, so Zonka gets two yards, giving him officially a total of 92 for the ball game. It'll be second down, and uh, we'll call it eight. With five minutes and eight seconds left to go. Fully splits near side, Briscoe far side. Kicking Zonka behind. Morrill. Here's Morrill. Play fake. He's throwing up the near side. It is caught by Twilly at the 26. The tackler at the 15. Runs over people and is down at the 11-yard line. Howard Twilly on a slant in the middle. Caught the ball. Shook off a tackler and picks up a first down. 25 yards on the pass completion. As Morris Morrill drilled that ball in there perfectly. And they place it down at the 11-yard line. So the Dolphins have a first down and 10 at the Colts 11. 25 yards from Morrill to Howard Twilley. Earl is just co controlling this game completely, Rick. No one figured to ever throw the ball in there, and naturally this made Twilley clear, wide open. He has looked great. He has looked magnificent. The ball at the Colts 9. Morrill in a sustained drive. His second of the night. Twilley splits near side. Briscoe far side. Chicken Zonka. The split backs in behind Earl. From the nine. Fakes the handoff. Spinning out to his right being pursued. And he's going to suffer a big loss as he has to eat it back at about the 22-yard line. The Colts were rushing that time, and they were sending four and five men. Billy Newsom, Ted Hendricks, given the initial contact and the uh, loss on the play. As Morrill has now been dumped a couple of times tonight, sets the ball back to the Colts' 22-yard line, and they were really coming that time. Loss of about 14 on the play. It'll be a third down and 21 for a first down. And 22 yards to go for a score. Three minutes, seven seconds left to play. Twilly and Briscoe out of the huddle. Both line up as wide receivers left. Twilly the outside man. Briscoe slot left. Kick and Zonka. The split back behind Morrill from the Colts. 22. Third and eight, eight, uh, 21. He drops to throw. 
He fires. Oh. It is intercepted by May, the linebacker. 15 out of the 20, 25 to the 30, 35 to the 40 up the far sideline. He is knocked down at the 50-yard line. That pass was intended for Howard Pilly. And May, Ray May, the right side linebacker, gets the interception. That is his second of the uh, season, 33-yard return. And Morrow used up 8.13 of the clock, 8 minutes and 13 seconds consuming that drive. And we get a timeout on the field. Dolphin football action continues for Baltimore with a score. Our Dolphins 23 and the Colts nothing. They set the ball down, they change down. It's the first down for Baltimore at the Dolphins 40-yard line. Avalak splits to the near side, Dowdy up to the far side. From the Dolphins 40, back to throw. Goes down, first now he breaks out of the pocket. He is hit, gets away, gets to the 35, is cracked again at the 35, puts his head down, fumbles the ball inside the 30, and Miami recovers the football at the 28-yard line. Manny Fernandez. He was bouncing off people, and you could see this coming. If somebody got their arm on the football, it was going to be a fumble, and that's what happened, and Fernandez comes up with it as he was scrambling, running out of the pocket, was hit, fumble, and Fernandez recovers. The Dolphins have it at our 28. Henry? Jim Del is going to get his first chance to quarterback in a regular NFL game. Jim Del Gazo, the Dolphins rookie from Tampa, number 11. At 6'1", 198 pounds, will be the quarterback. There is a two-minute warning. Dolphin football action continues in a minute. The score, Dolphins 23, and they coach nothing. Ball up at the uh, Dolphins 37. Now Marv Fleming comes in. It'll be a third down and a yard to go for a first down. Briscoe out. They've got the two tight ends in. Zonka left with 19 carries, 94 yards. Kick 15 for 51. Morris unofficially 11 for 72. The ball at the Dolphins, 37. A third down and one with a minute and 53 seconds to go. Del Gazo, the rookie quarterback, who taxied last year, taxied this year until Greasy was hurt. Getting his first taste of regular season game action. Hands off and slamming it across the left side and getting the first down out across the 40-yard line for the Dolphins. Out to about the 41. The tackle on the play was Bruce Laird. And Charlie Lee was the ball carrier. Miami's unofficial yardage, passing 111, rushing 262, a total of 373. Baltimore, an unofficial total of 202 yards. The Dolphins have shut out the Baltimore Colts with just 13 seconds. This could be the last play on third and one from the midfield stripe. Clock moving with eight seconds. Del Gazo on the snap, hands to Hubert Ginn, sweep to the left. 45, 40, down the far sideline. As kicks the tackle and has run out of bounds. Inside the 30 as the... Gun runs, the clock runs out of the gun sound. Hubert Ginn with a good gain of some 22 yards on the last play of the ball game. And the final scores are Dolphins rack up a shutout. Miami 23, Baltimore zip.